Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, we're at Psalm 77, Vivian. We're oh, more than halfway through. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And oh boy, I, I mean, we have continued us giving us teaching this we're teaching ourselves yes, as well absolutely and we've received so much in-depth uh revelation mm -hmm. uh we've been able to uh, go to different scriptures to uh be a witness to what we're actually reading at the moment yes, right yes and so it encourages us as well because we ain't there yet no <laughs> we ain't there yet and we need encouragement just like every one of you listening. Amen. 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 So we're in Psalm 77, and it is written by Asaph, not David. And if you have your Bibles, please start reading with me or just in your, in your thoughts. Verse 1, I cried out to God with my voice, to God with my voice. You know, we have two voices. We have the speaking voice and we have the inner voice and God hears both. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he gave ear to me in the day of my trouble. I sought the Lord. My hand was stretched out in the night without ceasing. My soul refused to be comforted. So we're trying, you know, I can imagine we're trying to comfort ourselves and our soul is saying, nope, I won't be comforted. He's refusing comfort. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Uh, in, um, in Psalm 61 and 2, it's one of my favorite songs. It's, hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. It doesn't say if my heart is overwhelmed. It says when it's overwhelmed. It's going to happen. That's right. We are going to get overwhelmed at times. Yes. But we need to know where to go and who to cry out to. Mm -hmm. Amen. You hold my eyelids open. Verse 4. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I meditate within my heart and my spirit makes diligent search. So he's going within. He's remembering the ancient times. He's remembering the, the times that God has helped him in the past, that God has been there to speak to him in the past. And in verse 7, will the Lord cast off forever and will he be favorable no more? Has his mercy ceased forever? Remember, his mercies are forever, Amen. and his mercies are new every morning, and still he's questioning, mm -hmm. has his mercy ceased forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he, in anger, shut up his tender mercies? Mm. But if you were watching yesterday, uh, I gave the scripture that says, his anger is but for a moment. Mm -hmm. Amen. His anger is not the same as man's anger. Oh, goodness. Man's anger can really destroy with no purpose at all. Some people's anger is for years. Yes. And and you see it in their faces. Mm -hmm. You They begin to tell you about their health. And it's deteriorating, deteriorating because of all the anger. That all negativity the rage. inside of yes. you. Yes. It begins to reflect on the inside, mm -hmm. outside. Amen. So it's not a it's not a good thing. Uh, our anger does not promote the righteousness of God. That's in one of the scriptures. Amen. Our anger, man's anger, does not promote the righteousness of God. He's given us anger; it's an emotion, but when it works for good. Yes. Amen. Amen. Verse ten, and I said, "This is my anguish." but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. The years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. 
I will also meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Psalm 27, 4 and 6. This is also one of my favorite ones. Let's see. Um, 24, 4 through 6. It says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek. So he's seeking that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. You got the floodwaters and you're standing up on this rock very, and he is the rock of our salvation. Yes. That's where we, when the flood comes, when we're being overwhelmed, with, with trouble and, and health situations, we can get up high on that rock and we will be saved. And in verse six, he says, and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. While standing on that rock, mm -hmm. that high rock, we can sing praises because we can see above the trouble. Amen. When the eagle is flying and he's confronted a storm, he doesn't go down and hide somewhere under a tree. He goes above the storm. Yes. And he, God compares us to eagles. Amen? Amen. Amen. Verse, uh, verse 10, And I said, This is my anguish. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will also meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God is our God. There is no God but our God. Amen. You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have, with your arm, redeemed your people. There is a scripture that says, His arm is not short that it cannot reach, and his ear is not deaf that it cannot hear. His arm reaches wherever you are, his arm will reach you. And his ear is always in tune to listening to you. Amen? Amen. To listening even to your heart, those silent words that we can't put into words to speak them. The sons of Jacob and Joseph, the waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you. They were afraid. You know, the, not only did he part the Red Sea, but Jesus walked on the water. Mm -hmm. Amen? And Peter called out to him, and Jesus said, Come. Jesus is beckoning us to come in the midst of the storm. He's saying, Come. Amen. Come to me. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy, heavy laden, and I will give you rest, he says. He says, come. He's saying to you today, come to me. Yes. Don't be afraid. I love you. Amen? Amen. And, Jesus, and Peter walked on the water. <clears throat> Peter, when Jesus said, come, Peter got out of the boat and he walked on the water. Yes. But when he looked at the storm, he looked at the wind, he looked at the waves, he looked at you know, the, the probably the lightning going on. Then he started to sink. He didn't, boom, sink right away. He started to sink. Mm -hmm. Amen? So get out and walk on the water today. Have that water walking faith. Amen? Amen. That, that God can reach you no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through. Verse, uh, the second half of verse 16 is, The depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Your arrows also flashed about. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. It's talking about when the Israelites, God delivered them from Egypt. And they walked through the water on dry ground. Can mm -hmm. you imagine that scene? 
you know, I would like for, for the Lord, when I get up there, for the Lord to, to replay that scene for <laughs> me. Because I would love to see that. You can imagine all the mm. all the fishes and all the sharks and all part. the they have and to all, go to the side. Yes, and all the whales and everything. They probably see them. You know, they probably <laughs> saw those animals. But amazing, yeah. amazing, just amazing. And I'm going to leave you with this scripture in Isaiah 43, one of also my favorites. He says in Isaiah 43, starting in verse 1, But now thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O, o Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When, not if, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Take courage, be encouraged that even though we're going to pass through some waters, and we're going to pass through some rivers, and we're going to walk through fire, that God is with you. Amen. He'll see you through. Got anything? Uh, yes. Going back to this Psalm 77, which she just read, mm -hmm. up to uh, verse 11, we can read how he was complaining, mm -hmm. and we can see his doubts, but then there was a shift. Yes. And he said to himself, probably, okay, let me let me start thinking about what God did in the past. Mm -hmm. And when he started doing that, his faith, yes, okay, came back. So this is an example for us. Because remember, when we read the Psalms, this is for us to see how did this great man yes. and women also reacted. This is this is written for us to learn, mm -hmm. for us to follow their example. And uh, when we see that there was a shift, change in his perspective, his way of thinking, we saw how he started praising God and remembering mm -hmm. how God did in the past, and he changed. Yes. So that's for us to learn that instead of us being focused, on the adversity that we may be going through at the moment, we need to stop and we need to go back and think about what God did for us in the past. Yes. How he delivered us maybe from sickness, disease, uh, a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And let us concentrate on that. Yes. Because, Nancy, whatever it is that we meditate on, whatever it is that mm -hmm. we focus our attention to, that is what is going to grow. Mm -hmm. If you're going through sickness, for example, and you start meditating and rehearsing your symptoms, yes, your illness, well, guess what? Mm -hmm. You are kind of doubting. You are giving that thought permission to grow inside of you. Yes. But if you instead focus on the Word of God, which is the promises of healing, promises of health, guess what? Mm -hmm. Your body reacts to that that you're feeding it. Mm -hmm. So we learn from this Asaf that at the beginning he was complaining, he was focusing on his issues and his problems, but then we see the shift. Amen verse 11 and he came out of that anguish in his soul so what do we learn from this let us focus on the goodness of God on the promises of God Amen. and not on what we're going through at the moment mm -hmm. because God is faithful and he promises that he will never leave us nor forsake us Amen. he will be with us in the yes. storm let us concentrate on that word. Amen. You know, as you're talking about food, uh, I remember... You're hungry? No. Well, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, 
I remember you, I hear constantly, you are what you eat. Absolutely. In the physical, we, we eat healthy, we are healthy. Uh -huh. We eat, you know, junk, we're, our body, our health is going to be bad. But also, we are what we eat. Amen. Amen. You eat the, the in the in book of Revelation, the Spirit of God told John to eat, to, to eat the Word of God. Amen. So we're we're to, this is food. This is food for us. So eat. You will be what you eat. Amen. And you will get healthy. <laughs> you will get healthy. Your soul will get healthy. Your mind will get healthy. Amen. 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 Well, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow with uh, Psalm 78. Yes. Amen. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And walk through and hear him say, go this way, go that way, and go. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, friends, we'll see you tomorrow. Shalom.